Hello, uh, I'm going to make a tutorial about the pyramids method one flip. One flip is kind of a sub method of keyhole. So I'm just going to scramble that a bit. Yeah. So in keyhole, you saw this block here, these two edges around the center. Um, and then you solve the centers, and then and you do insert the last edge. See the center is solved, and then you insert the last edge. And one flip, what you're doing is uh, that you start off by doing the same as in keyhole. You solve this block here, but you also secure that the last edge will end in place flipped. Then you will use this flipped edge to solve the sensors. So when you solve the sensors, the edge is going to be back in place but flipped correctly. So for this, it would be something like that. So one flip is kind of an intuitive method because what you want to do is just to solve the sensors um, and flip the edge. There are one case that you just need to know, and that is the two center case, two centers. Because what you want to do is to see what center, these two centers, one of them is looking on the other center, and they need to go the same direction. So this center is looking at this center, because this center is just looking backwards or something. This doesn't need to be flat. Um, so you solve this center first, which is looking at another center, which has to go the same direction. And in this case, it's this one. So you solve this center, and then when you solve the other center, the edge piece will be back in position, but flipped correctly. So that is the main idea for this method. Um, I would say that you need to learn all three edges cases because there's always going to be two centers that are going the same direction and therefore you can easily solve that case. Then I uh, want you to learn like two, two center cases, no three, two center cases if you mirror them and two of them are just the one I just show you and the mirror. Um, last one is also kind of easy, well it's not move efficient but it's kind of fast to perform, so I like that one. And then I want you to learn two one center cases, and those two one center cases are, of course, clockwise and counterclockwise. Yeah. Um, the first case is the one center case. See, you have the block here, you have the flip edge here over the center that needs to be flipped also. Uh, this one is going clockwise, so for this case you just solve the center and insert the edge. But if you learn it as an algorithm, it can be done very fast. Uh, this case, I ripped down the algorithm like this. You can pause the video if you want to. This one. So. What I do is I flip it like this, then I solve the center and move the top so it's ready f to be inserted over here. Then I flip the pyramids. I have the spot here and the edge here, and I insert it. So I can just do it. Yep. And when you do it, you get the other case which is even faster. The flipped edge still over the center that needs to be flipped and as before you are just solving the, the center and then insert the edge. Uh, for this case, hold it like this. So now it's ready to be inserted and then just insert it. For the algorithm, see. Yeah, well that's it. Uh, for the other cases, yeah, this case, 
two centers, one edge piece that is flipped. For this case, it's the first one, three moves. I guess you can work it out yourself, and the other one, same, three moves. Um, for the last two center case, I want to teach you. Um, I'm just going to play it like this. You have two sensors that are looking the same way and a flipped edge. I prefer to have the flipped edge over the right center. And what you do is again just to solve the sensors and insert the edge like in keyhole. But as you know where the edge piece is going to be, you can perform it like one algorithm and that is kind of fast, I think. So the algorithm if you want this is this one. R inverted. DW is a face turn. So I do R inverted. D R. Then I insert the edge. So if I'm doing that one first. Uh, Have it the case here again. Two centers, one flipped edge. Um, and for the last ones, uh, you have this one where I have two centers that is going the same direction, and the last one that is the odd one out. What you want to do is to start like if you only had two centers, um, in this case, you'll pick these two centers because there are three moves or so to solve. Uh, what you do is that you start off by solving the first edge, the center. And instead of solving the next center, you go to the third center. Uh, you just solve it. And when you solve the last center, the edge piece is going back in place. So yeah, that should be intuitive. For the last case, we have three centers going the same direction. You do the same as before, this time you can just start anywhere, you solve one center. Instead of going directly to the next center, you take the back center, or wherever it is, and solve that center, and solve the last center, and the edge will be in place again. So, yeah, I think that's it. Let's see the sheet again. That took like two minutes or so to write that paper, so <laughs> yeah. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.